we are going to use body measurements to make these flowers just your size. The petals are the size of your hands and feet and the stems are as wide as your arm span. So let's get going on making some giant flowers. So to make the petals, you can use your hand and trace it. And now we know how big my hand, mine was six inches. You can trace it and then draw the bottom. And these are gonna make some of the petals for your flower. And just trace as many as you can fit on one piece of paper so that we're not wasting paper. So there's your petals. You can also make leaves the same way. So for leaves, you can trace your hand around like that, round it out, and now your hands are leaves and petals, just like this. After you've done your hands, you're also going to do your feet. So you're gonna lay your foot on the paper and trace all around it, which I've already done right here. These are also going to be petals that you'll use on the outside of your flower. So I will start by cutting out the big petals, the feet. If you don't want to trace your whole foot, you can lay your shoe on the paper and trace your shoe. You can do as many of these as you want, as long as you have enough paper to do it. So now I've got a bunch of foot-shaped petals, and then I'm going to cut out my hand-shaped petals. There we go. And I'm going to cut out my leaves. All right, we've got our leaves and we've got two types of petals, big ones, and we've got little petals. And now all we have to do is add these to our plate. I'm going to show you how to stick those onto the back of your flower. So first of all, go ahead and do like a big circle-y glue blob onto the back of your flower. And I'm gonna do mine every other color. So I'm gonna do pink, and then I'm going to do an orange. You'll probably need to even add some glue onto the petals as you go. So now I'm gonna glue there, glue that one down. I've got a pink petal. And we'll glue this orange petal down. So there's my flower. I think I'm going to add, she add some more petals? Nope, I think it's just perfect. So there's my flower. I'm going to show you how to add some tissue to the back as well that will fill in some of these gaps. So you can make tissue petals and use some purple, kind of crinkle it, add a little dab of glue, and add your tissue petals. And now I'll do some yellow. Since all of the flowers were alive in Wonderland, I'm going to show you how to make your flower look like it's alive, you'll be using googly eyes. So to glue your googly eye down, you'll take a glue dot, lift it up just like a sticker, and stick it down, and your other glue dot, Pull that off, stick it on the back like a sticker, very sticky, and glue it down. Now for the mouth, if you want to use some of your scrap paper, you can go ahead and cut out a mouth shape. I'm gonna make a big smile. You can make your mouth however you want. And glue it on, it's a happy little flower. So what's left? is your stem 
which was as long as your arm span. For that, you can use these big green pieces. The way I like to do it that's easiest is to take your pieces, glue them together, move it down, and glue on the next one to see if it's the same length as your arm span. Just like you did with the tape measure, you're going to put it in one side of your arm and then the other. My thumb ended up here, so cut off the excess. And now you know that this was as long as your arm span. You can glue your stem onto the back of your flower. And to do that, use your glue right on the back of your stem and press it on. Flip it over and there's your flower. The last step is to add the leaves. Some glue on the back and press it down. Another one there. And there we have it, our little flower. Just like Alice, you are going to get to go on an adventure where you find yourself in a garden where the flowers are as big as you.